welcome to the Tragnosis program, which is also called the 3D program. This is a small introduction to the path of knowledge and we are going to finish it today only. What happens in this program is that we go through the basic knowledge or the essential knowledge. What is the most essential knowledge? It covers self-knowledge, knowledge of the illusion and knowledge of the oneness, unity. These three topics will be covered today. That is why it is called 3D program, diagnosis, three types of knowledge. Before we do the three kinds of knowledge, I'll tell you what is path of knowledge in two or three sentences. Path of knowledge is a spiritual path and its main aim is destruction of ignorance. What is ignorance? All the assumptions, blind beliefs, imaginations, wrong information that was fed to you by somebody, something written in books, something heard from here and there. All these things are called ignorance on the path of knowledge. And how to remove this ignorance? This is our goal. By your own experience and by your own intelli intelligence, your own experience and intelligence removes the ignorance and whatever remains will be called knowledge. What are the benefits of this? The first benefit is freedom from ignorance, freedom for, from suffering, freedom from uh, being trapped in this bondage of the world, fast de uh, development, evolution and uh, bliss, peace, increased uh, awareness, intelligence and uh, there are many benefits, whatever you want is now available to you once you are on the path of knowledge. So as I said, we get three kinds of knowledges here and ultimately we see that everything is covered in one knowledge, which is knowledge of oneness, unity or non-duality. So first we are going to start with the knowledge of the self. When I say self, it means you. The basic question here is, what are you? Who are you that you know? I am this man, I am this woman, my name is this and all. That much you know. But what are you? When we are asking what, we are asking for your essence, essential part of you. And what do I mean by essential part? The essence is that which cannot change in you. The essence will be the most important thing in you. It will be the, your most important part that will be called essence. And self-knowledge is knowing what is my essence. It is also called the true nature. What is my true nature? That answer will give you self-knowledge. So I am going to give you an example of a wooden table to understand the definition of essence. We take a wooden table and you will find that uh, you can change the size of the table, shape of the table. The carpenter can make the table in any shape and size. You can change the color. You can add some things in it, ornaments, handles and so on. But if you try to remove the uh, wood from the wooden table, if you try to change it, you say, I don't like the wood in the wooden table and you, you somehow you remove it, then you will see that there is no table now because it was made up of wood. It, the wooden table is essentially the wood, nothing else. The wooden table is not defined by its color, its shape, its cost, its beauty. No, its weight. No, the wooden table is defined by the material of the table. Essence is the wood here. You cannot remove it. This is the most important thing in the wooden table. You can change many things in the table, but no, then if the table, if the wood is removed, there is no table. You cannot change that. Uh, the, we say that the essence of the wooden table is wood. This is the meaning of the word essence, that it is the most important part of anything and it cannot be changed while some other parts of it, you can keep changing them, but the essence will not change. So we want to find out this essence of myself. What is the most important thing in me? So we'll start by uh, removing and we'll keep on removing till we uh, reach something which we cannot remove. We keep on changing and if we cannot change something, that will be the essence. So first we'll start by removing objects like uh, your house, your car, your jewelry and uh, anything in your house, chairs, beds, so on. And uh, if I ask you that, uh, are these things your essence? Are you defined by these things? 
are these objects which are in front of you is that you in short we say whenever we say your essence sometimes we say you because that is what we mean by you so are these objects you and anybody will say any intelligent person will say no i am not the object the objects are something which i have but it is not me and if the objects go away i am always there if the objects disappear i don't disappear and i can experience them around me i am witnessing them so immediately we find that objects are not me none of the object in the world is me i am not present in the world so where do you go to find yourself not in the world that much is sure and immediately we get two rules that if i can experience something through eyes ears touch smell anyway feelings sensations hot cold then it cannot be me because if that is gone i am still there it is an experience that happens to me that much you can say but that thing is not me that experience is not me immediately you can see by checking the objects and if the objects disappear if they are destroyed if they are gone i am still there suppose you have a chair and the chair breaks you will never say that i broke you will say the chair broke or sometimes people will say my chair broke they say that it is mine so that much is okay but chair is not you so this is very very a simple thing now to understand that objects are not me and we got two rules that if i can experience it cannot be me if it changes into something else disappears it cannot be me so we will go to the next level we will check the body and you will see that the body is another object in the world just like any other body can you experience the body can you see it feel it touch it yes it is an object so that cannot be me second test is it changing and you will say yes when it was born it was very little body then it changed into something 5 year old then 10 year old 20 year old now it will become an old person old body then it will disappear so which one of these changing forms is your true form remember we are trying to know the true essence which one is the true form and you will say no it can change any time and you can experience it so the body is not me and the most uh, final test of the body is suppose the body is dead suppose somebody else dies are you going to say that that person is there or is the body is there because if the person was body only essentially the person was body then even after death you would still call that person as a person not as a dead body this is the final test of whether i am body or not but you can check in in many ways like you can Uh, try to check different parts of the body which part of the body is essentially me our hands me our fingers our nails me our hair me our feet me and you will say no because they do not make my essential part even without these parts i am still there so remember there is a body yes you can experience it you can call it my body also it is your part also but not the essential part suppose somebody has an accident and they Uh, lose a limb they lose a leg the person will say my leg is gone but he will never say that i am also reduced to something i am still the same like this so that body which is seen in the mirror is not me it is an object and you, in your free time you can do this kind of analysis you can think about it it does not become true because somebody said it so you will need to find it out yourself but these are the ways to find out can i experience it yes then not me is it changing not me there is another body which we can feel this body can be seen by everybody but there is another body which only you can feel for example pain pleasure hunger thirst tiredness sleep all these things nobody else can feel it but they are surely coming from the body so let us take pain if something is paining in the body will you say that i am that pain because i am the body that this internal body now because external is gone it's not my essential thing but probably because this is this happens only to me so probably the sensations are me it is possible so let's check pain if pain is happening is it an experience and everybody will say yes i can experience the pain does it change does it appear disappear yes it was not there then it appeared then it disappeared i took a medicine it gone so that pain was not me because it is an experience and it is changing it is appearing disappearing coming going but i am still there so the pain cannot be me 
in this way all the sensations in, inside the body which nobody else is having only you are having they are also not me you can use the logic like this that if one object is not me then no object is me if one part of the body is not me no part of the body is me if one sensation is not me then no sensation is me they are all same they are all experiences they come and go changing hunger comes goes it comes again but you are still there so hunger is not essential pain is not essential so this internal feeling of the body is also not me so body is completely gone now we removed it but you are still there now let us take emotions which means anger fear lust and uh, jealousy happiness sadness love hate all these experiences that you are having they are called emotions are you experiencing and everybody will say yes i experience them daily but is that you if fear happens in you are you the fear are you the emotion of fear is that the essential thing in you and you will say no it comes and goes never remains all the time all the feelings they come and go all the emotions they come and go happiness does not remain and sadness does not remain so who remains me that means they are not the essential remember we are trying to find the essence so they can be removed they keep changing they are experiences that keep changing so the emotions are not me same way thoughts you can experience thoughts they keep changing they keep coming and going you can ask which thought is me like we ask no that which body is me 5 year old 10 year old 20 year old which body is me because it was changing so thoughts are changing you can ask which thought is me and the answer you will get is none of these thoughts is me they are simply experiences i can see them in the mind i know them and they, they appear then they disappear so no thought is me thoughts are not me like this you can sit down one day and check everything suppose you have a doubt that probably this thought is me but it is gone but that does not mean that you are gone you are still there so the thought was not me same way desires they keep coming and going they can be experienced desire is experienced when you do something so this is the desire is also not me now one more thing we want to check check memories a probably the memory is me because i always remember but that is not true sometimes you forget things so again the question comes which memory is me this memory of one year ago or the memory one week ago or the memory of yesterday or the memory that is going to come now in future which of these memories is me and now the logic will say no it is not possible i, I am one i am not all of the memories or i am not one particular memory so which memory is me no no one and you can use our formula that can you experience memories yes then they are not you are they changing yes sometimes you forget sometimes more things are stored in the memory so the the memory cannot be me and most of our lives is forgotten only the important events are in the memory 80% of your life is forgotten does that mean you are reduced by 80% now you are only 20% no so you say i my memory it is my memory keeps coming going whatever it is an experience just like you say my body you say my car my chair like that it is my memory but it is not my essence that is not the essential part it can be anything i'll be me i'll be that which is witnessing this memory so what is stored in the memory we can check your name is there if you forget the name will that mean that you are also gone you disappeared because the name in the memory disappeared and nobody will say like this they will say no i am there but what is your name i don't know you can assume any other name or you can again after some time the name comes back in the memory you remember it again so it, the name is not essential same way all your uh, education is in the memory it can go any time mostly it is gone already 50% 80% so that education is also not my essence what about my profession my work also in memory skills they are in memory if that much memory is removed you won't know how to work but you will be still there you will say i forgot how to work i changed my job it is changing and it is an experience so it is not me the formula is very accurate what about your relations suppose you forget who is my mother who is my father who is my child who is my husband wife that is in the memory isn't it stored in the memory all the relations are relations of the memory if it is forgotten gone so you your essence is not father mother child, son daughter husband wife this is not essential to you they are all 
relations made by artificially made by people society and uh, what about uh, the nationality religion caste all these things are given to you they are told to you in the childhood then you 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 said okay it is me i am indian i am this i am that it's not true they are simply some data in the memory information in the memory useful for life but not your essence now what is your gender and you will see that the gender male or female is of the body and the body is not me not my essence so i don't have any gender and you and some people can say no i think like a man i have feelings like a woman i have behavior like a man or woman but they these things are are in the memory since childhood you were taught to behave like this to think like this and so on these are your the impressions in the memory sanskar in the memory but memory is not me so the essence has no gender not a man not a woman and one last thing will check that uh, if you dream in the night you will see your image in the dream is that me is that really my essence and when you wake up it is gone so you realize that no it was another experience that person looked like me talk, it talked like me its behavior was like me it was male and female whatever it looked exactly like me but it was not me because i am the one who was sleeping or i am the one who was watching the dream after waking up only you realize in the dream you don't realize there is complete identification with the image something like this is happening because we have checked now that none of these things is me so we are having three kinds of experiences world body and mind we checked all of them and you were not found anywhere so immediately we can say conclude i am not any experience any kind of experience you take i am not it because it can be experienced it can be known and it is changing all these things are changing so it cannot be me but there is one thing still there which must be you because we have removed everything but you are still there it is not that you disappeared because i removed something you are still there you are the one who is common theme between all these experiences what remains among all these changing experiences that will be your essence because it is not changing it is that which is to which the experiences are happening which is witnessing all these experiences all these changes are flowing in front of it that must be your essence and uh, we are going to call it the witness there is no other name there are many names actually but we call it witness so i am the witness suppose you remove this witness now what remains what remains which you can call as i me my now there is nothing no world no body no mind nothing because there is no nothing to witness it so just like we saw in the case of wooden table if you remove the wood from wooden table nothing nothing can be said what is there what is not there whether it has a shape or what it nothing can be said and the wood cannot be changed you can change the outer forms same way you can see that the witness cannot be changed and if you remove it nothing remains which can be called as me i something which looks like me nothing so my essence comes out to be the witness nothing else you take any kind of experience you can always say that it is changing it is happening to me or it is my experience but you will not say that it is me my essence so we came to know one important thing about yourself that i am not, you are not an experience you cannot be perceived by senses you cannot be known by mind you cannot change because if it changed it is not me i am still there watching the change so many things you came to know that i am not any experience i do not change and i am beyond senses and mind so remember these two or three things which you came to know through your own experience you check your own experience it is not that somebody is telling you look you need to believe this no 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 never believe anybody look this is written here no no, no. we don't want to simply memorize what is written it must be your truth so we'll go forward now we'll we found out what i am not now we try to find out what i am and you can do this homework whatever i said you can cross check it verify it who knows probably you'll find something else we don't know this is exploration not an experience not changing not material nothing in the world this much you know about yourself can you find any shape can you find any color of the witness can you find any material of the witness that it is made up of wood steel stone bone meat blood and you will say no these are all objects and there is no shape also because if if there is a shape 
you could see it by mind by eyes whatever instruments but if it is seen that means it is not me if there is a color it should be seen and if it is seen or experienced it is not me if there is a material it can break that means changed not me who is witnessing that material who is witnessing the shape and color so it has no shape no form no color no material and in short we can say that i am formless shapeless and immaterial and it is not even a feeling because we have removed all that it is not an emotion or thought nothing in the mind so we say i am non mental also not physical not mental so you came to know few more things formless colorless shapeless sizeless weightless and uh, immaterial not even mental but it is there we can only say that it does not has any qualities of any object in it no qualities of the body or mind also now we can check when did it start when were you born we say in simple language what was your date of birth and immediately people tell their date of birth that i was born in this place at this time this date but uh, now you will notice that that is the date of birth of the body not of the witness the body was born there is no doubt about it it was born but uh, that is not me we have removed the body it is the an experience that started so we we don't have any way to find out when was the witness born because there is no certificate there is no photo obviously you cannot take a photo because it's invisible cannot be seen by any instruments or eyes or senses because it is the one that sees witness so there is no record in the hospital nothing about the witness so we'll try to find when was this witness born when did it start you can do this exercise at home try to find because if witness witness started that means you should have a memory of it starting that means some experience happened of it starting but i am not any experience so there is a contradiction here it is not possible to witness my own start because i should be present already to witness it nobody can witness because you are the witness so we'll try to find out how things are born how the birth happens and probably we'll find how it happens for the witness so when we take uh, clay wet clay and we change its form into a pot we say the clay pot is born clay is the raw material change happened it took a form and then the clay pot was born this is the process and the same way when you plant a seed the seed is the raw material it changes and becomes a plant so we say plant is born same way babies they are material of the mother's body then they take form and they are born babies are born so you will always find that in birth three things are needed first is a raw material something must be there matter second a form third a change the, 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 that raw material must change into that form then only we say something is born then only we say something appeared and look at your essence the witness it has no material no change and no form all these three things requirements are not there because it is not an object so we say it cannot take birth but it is still there that means i am birthless i am but i am not born this concept of birth does not apply to the witness like logically also we saw that it's impossible to witness your own birth that means you are already there and nobody else can witness it you are the witness so our everyday intelligence fails here and we should say that no birth is not applicable these concept these thoughts these ideas cannot be applied to the witness who is witness me my essence so i am not born i am unborn that is what we say now are you aging we are talking about the witness are you aging and you will say no the body is aging aging means a change and i am changeless immutable technical word i cannot change the body ages it becomes old and so on so i am ageless because age means change age means body even the mind ages the childhood thoughts are gone now adult thoughts are there grown up thoughts are there grown up desires are there that means change but i am not all that we are already removed completely so i am ageless now simple logic that that which is born will die that which is born will age and then die but that which is not born and does not age there is no question of death for that because death is also a change of some kind the body turns into ash dirt breaks the material 
then goes back in earth but here for the witness there is no such thing no material no change no body nothing so death is not applicable to the witness so i am deathless unborn ageless deathless birthless so you came to know so many things about witness and remember you need to verify all these things using your own experience and logic intelligence we are not reading from any book this is your own experience i am telling you so it should be possible for you to verify it alone independently now we want to see what is happening in the witness is it sad is it happy does it have any desires is it doing something and you will see that no these things are all happening in the body and the mind the body is doing something the body has pain and hunger and whatever and the mind has happiness sadness these are thoughts feelings emotions when we say i am happy that is i am feeling happy the emotion is of happiness so but i am not all that so you will see that if there is something which is happening in the witness then it is an experience but i am not the experience and if something is happening it will start and it will stop it will disappear but that which changes is not me so it is impossible for the witness to have anything in it for anything to happen inside it it is impossible so we say i am peaceful i am not only peaceful this is eternally peaceful because nothing can disturb its peace nothing will start here nothing will happen here nothing has ever happened here there was no suffering here there was no happiness also here complete peace there was no desire here there was no work here pure witness uh, my nature is like this we say our true nature or my essence is like this peaceful and it is it is not complaining that nothing is happening so it is happy it is blissful we say not the word happiness we use the word bliss anand which means it is totally content satisfied with whatever is appearing in front of it like the viewer of a movie there are many things happening in the movie all colors all emotions all events but the viewer is very peaceful watching sitting in the seat if there is no birth and no death will there be rebirth will there is there a question of death again next life again and you will say no if there is no birth there is no question of being born again and that is liberation liberation means that freedom from death and birth but there is no birth here there is no death here so this witness is totally free and it is there is no possibility of birth and death also so it is eternally free and it was never born so it was always free free means liberated so i am liberated what will what should you do to make it liberated that thing because it's already liberated what do we need to do to make it peaceful make yourself peaceful make yourself bliss nothing it is already there that mind and body that will never be peaceful never be blissful will never stop death and birth because that is object you know objects they appear disappear all the time but i am not that so nothing to worry now if you ask all these questions to somebody else like i am asking you suppose you are teaching somebody and you ask them that are you the body are you the object are you the mind are you the dream person or are you born will you die and any person anybody will answer exactly in the same way their essence will also come out to be witness and all the qualities will be same peaceful blissful liberated all these will be present somebody else also so my essence is same as your essence if you ask me to investigate like this i'll also say the same thing i am the witness and these and these things are present and absent in the witness not even one property will be different yes the body is different the minds are different the memories are different all these things but they are experiences they are obviously different but that is not the essence that is not my true nature that is not the witness what i, I am really truthfully is actually the same as you are this is mind blowing thing not only you and me everybody has the same essence even if they don't know it even if they are ignorant people they have the same essence even animals have the same essence if they are witnessing something same thing is witnessing there same witness everywhere now there is one logic that we use on the path of knowledge that if two things have same qualities and there is no boundary between two things then they are actually one thing for example air in the left of the room has the same qualities as the air in the right of the room and where is the boundary between the 
left ear and right ear and you will say no there is no boundary why it is one one ear suppose you have a uh, gold biscuit left side is gold right side is gold in the middle there is no boundary why because one biscuit gold gold is the quality throughout without any boundaries same way what is the boundary between this witness and that witness sometimes we call it my witness just like everything else we want to own it but it is me not my it is not my witness it is me the witness so you will see immediately because it is not material not object there is nothing like an object here there are, so there is no boundary it is not even like air not even like water or space nothing at all so there is no question of boundary what are the qualities exactly the same so the two conditions are met here they are satisfied that the qualities are same there is no boundary so it is one your essence and my essence one the witness is one not many so you need to simply remember this right now how we arrived at this conclusion simply remember it will become clear why it is one when we know the oneness when we know the unity we'll find out the unity in few minutes there it will become very clear why the witness is one why can't we have different witnesses in short you are not any experience not objects bodies minds thoughts memories nothing you are unchanging you are immaterial you are non mental you are birthless ageless deathless liberated peace bliss and your essence is the essence of everybody you are present in everybody this is self knowledge also called self realization enlightenment whatever you want to call it atmagyan knowing your true nature this is the second part of the program the knowledge of the illusion so what are all these things which we removed from my essence and we call them illusions illusions means false fake not true why do we call them false why do we say they are not really there not only they are not me we say they are not actually present they do not exist so before we say what is true what is false what really exists what does not exist true and false means same thing if it really exists we say it is true if it really does not exist we say no false so the trick is to be able to find out the truth and to able to find out the false then only we can say something is not there so we will take three examples not only three we'll take many examples and uh, three categories of examples to find out how do we decide what is true and false so it is not that somebody told you look all the world is false illusion you need not simply assume it there is no point in that is not called knowledge that is a blind belief so how to find out first we'll take examples from everyday life then we'll take examples from uh, lives of important people and then we'll take examples from philosophy so everyday examples suppose you meet somebody and that person tells you his name next day you meet that person and he tells you some other name next day he changes the name again now you will be doubtful how is it possible what is your real name you will ask show me your i card and passport and all and he will show you all the documents and all the documents suppose they have different names in them now the question is what is the true name what is the real name of that person and anybody will say i don't trust this person probably none of these names are his no true name there because it keeps changing you need to notice this thing suppose that person meets you and tells you a name next day same name third day same name one year after same name and you ask for his uh, passport or i card or uh, driving license and exactly the same name is there you go to his house same name everybody is calling him with the same name remember it's not changing now now that is the proof that yes this is the true name in no place it is different in no document it is different so how do we decide or how does the intellect decide our intelligence says changing means something is wrong not changing i can trust it same way another example from your day to day life that you go and buy something let us say it is very important thing for you because the small things we can pay anything 50 rupees we pay 60 no problem we don't worry about the true cost 
but if it's changing too much then we are doubtful so let us say you're buying land property and the seller says that this pr property is 10,000 square feet and it will cost this many this many so you are not going to simply pay the money you will say show me the papers and suppose the papers are showing 8,000 square feet this land measures 8,000 now you pr will probably doubt it that no 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 you are telling me something wrong you said 10,000 the paper says 8,000 what is the truth now it is changed so it is false so you will take the tape and you will measure and the measurement shows you 5,000 square feet so are you going to buy that property no intelligent person will buy it it's all false why the figures don't match suppose he says 10,000 you measure it it is 10,000 and the, you check the paper and government records it is 10,000 square feet now you will proceed you will ask for the cost and all these things now there will be some trust that yes the area is true at least why not changing so in our everyday life our decision of true and false is based on how much the thing changes and again you can sit down and verify in your free time how do we um, decide what is true what is false if you find something else in place of that experience means the first experience was false and there is no guarantee that this experience will all also be true you need to check it again and if it does not change then only you are confirmed it is true now we'll take examples from important people for example a scientist is doing an experiment and every day the results come out to be different one day the reading is this another day the reading is that one day the formula is this another day the formula is something else now the scientists will not call it a discovery or the law of physics or something no because it keeps changing every day he ch checks with another instrument totally different and his friends and other uh, scientists in the other countries they do the experiment they get something different now nobody will believe it nobody will say that this is true this is not a law and remember these are important people so suppose the scientist is working and he does an experiment and every day the same results come same formula applies and people in other countries other scientists the senior scientist they do the experiment they get the same result and for 50 years they get the same result without change now that will be called discovery that will be called scientific law law of physics and it will be uh, taught in your school textbook colleges students will be told look this is the truth why same thing not changing now even if you checked it very very strictly it did not change because it is important to know you see so now all the technology happens and all these things happen and they work because it was true same way a doctor if when medicine is treating some kind of disease probably it is treating some people some people they die some people get side effect the results keep changing so the doctor is not going to trust that medicine he will say no this is not the true cure this is not the real treatment but if he finds a medicine that cures most of the people 90 percent of the people are cured he will say yes this is the right treatment this is the true cure some people may not get treated because you know some bodies are different so uh, but that will be accepted as the right treatment remember doctor is very important life and death matter but they are using the same criteria same standard of truth changing means something is wrong cannot be trusted now let us take last example of important person the judge if somebody is uh, in the court and uh, he is accused of murder and let us say all the witnesses this is not the our witness the true essence they are witness people witness of the crime they are telling all different stories he was in another city his name is something else i don't know him something like this and they are witnesses and all the evidences are some something else they are always changing so the judge cannot send him to jail he will say i i don't i cannot decide really there is not enough, enough evidence why everything is changing everything is different all the time but if all the evidence evidences they tell the same story the video feed is showing the same person and there are evidences that there was some fight and some something happened between these people one fellow killed the other person then the judge has no problem because everything is matching it is not changing now the evidence is not changing so he sends him to the jail 
very important decision but the criteria is same and the standard of truth is same there is no other way to know you see so let us go to philosophy now how do seekers philosophers they find what is true and now you can guess it because there is no other way to know only one standard one criteria is there of change they also use the same thing so let us say you go to a potter shop the people who make different objects of clay clay pot lamps and flower pot and different utensils of clay different statues of clay now you go to that shop and ask what is the true shape of this clay let us say there is a pile of clay there is a brick of clay some clay is still in the ground and you ask him what is the true shape of the clay and he will say look the clay is clay and the shape can be anything what do you want he will say which shape do you want no no i want the true shape now the philosopher will say that these forms that the clay is taking they are all false because clay has no real form it can be molded in any form so no real form just like changing name no real name because he was changing the names all the time so clay is changing the forms all the times there is no real form no true form and when the form changes the name also changes when the form is of a pot we say clay pot when the form is of a statue we say statue woman ganpati statue sometimes we say statue of a leader the names are changing as soon as the form changes so names are also form and the names are also false so the philosopher says names and forms are false but what is not changing in between all these names and forms is the clay in our example so the philosopher will say the clay is the essence it is not changing essentially the same clay is present in every form so clay is the truth because it does not change you can take more examples in in scriptures also many examples are there in your everyday life you'll find such examples like waves and water so which wave is the true form of the water and now anybody will say no 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 waves are not true form water is the truth of the wave what is the essential thing in the wave you can again check it suppose you want to check it very thoroughly you go to the shop and you tell him that i want only the pot don't give me the clay because pot is the truth i want the pot don't want the clay but he will laugh he will say no no all you can buy is clay i can turn it into shape of pot yes you cannot buy pot it is not real it has no independent existence technical words there is no independent existence of pot same way there is no independent existence of waves they are the changing part of the water you go with a bucket in the pond that let me fill the waves today waves are very beautiful but i don't want water but all you will get is water no waves why because it is the form taken by water it is not real it can take any form the water you fill it in anything it will take that form so no form of water same way gold and ornaments and so on you see many things are there so always we find that the unchanging thing is the essence and the changing thing is the name and form and the essence is the truth name and forms are false this is the conclusion on the path of knowledge and you have your whole life to verify it you know nothing to worry this is not the final thing because what will a seeker do they will still search for the truth so even if the guru has said it it does not become true it has to be your own experience so what we are having three kinds of experiences world body mind all of them are changing so all of them are false there is nothing which does not change that is why i remove them because it was changing we removed it's not me so all of them are false and uh, the essence is me witness it never changes because there is nothing to change there it is empty zero so that is the essence that is the truth by the same standard yes if you change your criteria of truth it will change but on the path of knowledge this is the universal not only in the path of knowledge in every field same thing we gave you so many examples you can take more so uh, the essence which is me is the only truth and everything else that appear to me through the senses they are all false their names and forms they keep changing that is why their names and forms so you can check it why we call it appearance and names and form why don't we call it now object and body because you can check it right now are you seeing the object or are you knowing something which your eyes are telling you when you touch a 
suppose hot tea is the tea hot or your skin is telling your sense of touch is telling you that it is hot and you'll always see that it always comes from some or the other sense and the sense has nothing physical in it so electrical impulses you can say electrical signals something is there it is not an object we never experience any object we never experience any body we never experience any thoughts emotions they are all names and forms produced by the senses and what are senses same thing names and forms because they also keep changing so you need to now contemplate these things but they are still there isn't it the waves are still there the clay pot is still there and uh, all the objects bodies everything is still there how is it possible if they are not true how are they there the only explanation is they are illusions just like pictures are possible on the movie screen but they are not there the screen is appearing as many pictures that's all so we call it the illusion we don't say that it is non existent we say it exists as an illusion the movie exists but not there are not real people there is no real car there is no real explosion explosion in the movie it exists as pictures illusions same way all your experiences exist yes but they are illusions nothing real is there changing or impermanent and this is very straightforward but there there are more scientific ways to find out how everything like there are no colors in the world the colors are made by the eyes there is no music in the world the music is simply some property of the ears something like this there is no taste in the world you can check it by by doing your own simple experiments if you are a scientist you can do complicated experiments but you will arrive at the same thing that is all illusions like if you eat a sweet gulab jamun then you eat then you drink tea now the same tongue will tell you that the tea is not sweet every day it was telling you the tea is very sweet after eating gulab jamun it says no there is not sugar in the tea what happened there was actually no sweetness anywhere there some sensations only produced by the tongue so sweet false same way colors shapes false sounds false so the whole world falls all your feelings emotions memories all falls think about it they are still there nothing to worry you can enjoy them but actually it is all illusion so this is the knowledge of the illusion we'll go forward now you know who you are you know the illusion so the third part is very easy what is the connection between this illusion and me essence why do i need this body then why there is family why there is world what is the connection so that is very obvious that it is one just now we found found out that the essence of everything is one and the names and forms are different but just like the clay and clay pot are actually one object waves and water actually one gold and ornament is one so the essence and forms are actually one now proof proof is most important isn't it simply saying this one is not going to do it so we use another rule on the path of knowledge that if two objects are always together and they cannot be separated from each other there is no separation they they these two objects never become independent there is no distance between them there is no time between them and they are exactly they are always together so they are one object very common common sense thing but you see in spiritual knowledge this much uh, logic is required to understand why it was said that everything is one so we can take an example how much distance is between one side of paper and another side of paper and you will say no it's not distant there is no distance and i say when will the first side appear and after how many minutes or how many hours the next side will appear and you will say no no they are always together always appear together cannot be separate why the reason is very simple the one the paper is one not two they have two sides yes paper has two sides but they are one same way clay and clay pot how much distance is between clay and clay pot and you'll say no they are one yes the clay is clay pot the clay pot is clay then when will the clay pot appear after the clay no no they are always you know once it is made it is always there golden ornament wave and water same thing so you can verify this rule like this now check the, your experience and the witness of the experience how far away they are from each other and which one appears first which one is seen first which one is known first and you can do this exercise what is what are you witnessing right now any object anything and try to measure the distance between you and the object 
remember not the body and the object you are not the body just remember these things now this is now knowledge you are the luckiest people on earth to get this knowledge so you should remember it <laughs> you are not the body do not measure from the body or some other imaginary thing measure from the witness and you will say how can i measure from witness it has no place no shape no size and remember the object also is illusion produced by the senses so we say they are together there is no separation you cannot measure distance in meters that the object is 10 meters from me no wherever you are the illusion of object is the object is also there it is seen there where you are and when when you are looking it is not that first the object will be seen and then the witness will be known after one hour no it's always at the same time instantly something is seen the seer is already there something is observed the observer is already there i got a thought yes it was the witness who got the thought who observed it so there is no separation and one is never seen without the other it is not possible to experience anything without me witness so they are one like this you can verify so if they are one now we can call it by one name instead of calling it illusion and witness we say it is the existence existence why 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 this name see look at the existence existence means everything this is the definition of existence everything that exists whether false whether true we don't worry now so movie and the screen taken together you can say oh, existence so there is everything in the existence world bodies people minds thoughts emotions memories everything this world that world death life bad good beautiful ugly false true if you combine everything this will be called existence definition meaning of this word now in existence we have many kinds of experiences like we say we have three kinds body world mind and uh, in existence we have the witness also it's also there it exists is there anything else in the existence you can think about it but it will always be an experience no you forgot the dreams no dream is another experience mind you forgot the other planet and sun and moon they are also experiences world only after that a same experience only you are the witness of it some people believe this you know there will be experience after death we don't know but we all, all we know is it will be the same existence only something will exist so existence has nothing but experience illusion and the witness and the illusion is false obviously that's why it's called illusion and the witness is the truth so what is the essence of the existence if there are only two things two parts two dimensions of the existence one is false one is true one always changes one never changes so the existence is nothing but the witness the essence of the existence is also the witness just like in every object of the clay there is clay that is the essence in all the waves there is water what is the essence all the experiences there is witness it is that so the essence of the whole existence is witness or we say essentially the existence is witness only like essentially all the objects of the clay are clay only all the waves are water only all the objects of wood is only wood same way all the experiences are actually essentially me i am all the experiences so now you are the body also good news isn't it? you are not only this body you are all the bodies whole one so you are the rocks and trees also now you are forms only you are everything all the minds all the thoughts all the good all the bad because you are the essence so now this uh, question is solved why essence of everybody is same because it is one only one not two the experience and the witness of the experience are not two things not separate things there is no one without the other they are always one no distance this is the knowledge of oneness you can verify it by many many techniques they are all given in your program the path of knowledge program long program so one technique is try to find out what is inside me and what is outside me so those who think i am the body they will say whatever is outside the body is not me whatever is inside the body is me but let us say you cut the hair that's part of the body isn't it so where am i now you know that hair that you cut is not me now so like this you go on cutting the body you will see i am always inside so some people think that i am inside the body isn't it so the body is also outside now even if you think i am the body it is outside me a thoughts same way same way you remove the thoughts where are you outside 
आर यू इन साइड द थाट्स नो 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 इट्स इलॉजिकल सो लाइक दिस इफ यू गो ऑन चेंजिंग द बाउंड्री ऑफ वेयर यू आर यू विल फाइंड दैट अल्टीमेटली देर इज नो बाउंड्री सो एवरीथिंग इज आउटसाइड और एवरीथिंग इज इन साइड बिकॉज एवरीथिंग इज इन साइड माई परसेप्शन इन साइड मी सो आई एम नॉट इन द बॉडी द बॉडी इज इन मी द बॉडी इज इन एग्जिस्टेंस विच इज मी नॉट ओनली दिस बॉडी ऑल द बॉडीज आर मी सो देर इज नो इन साइड ऑफ मी देर इज नो आउटसाइड ऑफ मी दैट मीन्स वॉट देर इज नो डिविजन इज वन वन नेस नॉट टू दैट्स वन नॉन डूअल अवर एग्जिस्टेंस इज नॉन डूअल नॉट टू सो दिस इज द नॉलेज ऑफ वन नेस दैट अल्टीमेटली इट इज मी ओनली who is appearing to myself in many many forms what kind of forms illusory forms like a dream like in, when i sleep in the night all these things they appear to me but what are they my own product product of my mind i have become all these trees houses cars people relatives enemies friends in the dream this is all me same way this witness is the dreamer and it's watching a dream which is me only the dream is also me the dreamer is also me and this is a play that is happening no reason what is the reason of a dream nothing just to see it yes there can be reasons in the dream somebody said something because of this reason but <laughs> why why the dream happened no reason so this is the final knowledge do we want to know something more because you know the whole existence now whole nothing more to know is there anything beyond this no there is nothing it will be another kind of experience no i don't know this experience but yes that will be illusion where do you want to progress you are the whole existence you are from the tiny ant to the greatest god where do you want to progress tell me you want to become president already you are that you know i i am very bad i want to become good the good is also you the bad is also you so end of seeking end of practices which practice will make you the whole one already which practice will liberate you already liberated and all the bound is also me <laughs> that is the funny thing that will never go away because never came you see all illusion if you if you liberate the illusion again illusion nothing really happens so this is the end of knowledge nothing to know end of doing nothing to do end of searching nothing to search no practices nothing to practice so there is not there is nothing to tell also you know end of program 3d program also there are many paths to know the same thing just like i told you the evidence can be taken from many ways so there are many many ways to get to the non duality this is the direct path directly you reach there path of knowledge is called the pathless path direct when in one hour suppose somebody is ready for knowledge you need to simply show look this is the knowledge some people are not ready so they will discard it it is not that they will they won't understand they will but tomorrow they will forget they will be after these things you know money family society politics because they are probably not ready for that thing so no problem any path can be taken whatever suits you if this path suits you then yes this is your path but at least you know everybody should make an effort to know this much who am i this is the whole knowledge so here we are going to end our program and those who are interested in continuing on the path there is a bigger program path of knowledge program i am going to send you the links also it is also online it is also free enjoy it do it at your own speed nothing is really asked in return do it whenever you want and yes if you have any questions come in satsang ask me i'll try my best if i cannot then you can go to any experienced guru there are many very great gurus are there in this country everywhere in the world they will try to answer you and suppose you think no this is totally imaginary stuff leave it completely no no need to waste your time on this path of knowledge only those who are who resonate with it they should continue this this is a only an introduction this is path of knowledge then it should become your lifestyle later on but before you commit you should check whether it is real or not so thank you everybody i'll see you next time namaste